Although the Novodevichy convent is situated only a few minutes out of the centre of Moscow, you really feel like you're in a different city, as it is completely unique to anything else you'll see on a city tour. The convent was founded in 1524 by Prince Vasily III, and the convent that you see today is almost untouched from the 17th century, when Peter the Great's half-sister, Sophia, rebuilt it. This huge octagonal red brick structure is the bell tower. It was completed in 1690 and is 72 metres high. On the first and second floor there used to be churches and you can still see the bells from the 17th century on the third floor. The Smolensk Cathedral is the oldest building in the convent, built in 1525. It is modelled on the Assumption Cathedral at the Kremlin, and the interior is just as impressive as the exterior. The design of the convent is loosely based on the Kremlin, which can be seen with the surrounding walls and the unique towers. The Napoleon army tried to set fire to the convent, but the nuns managed to extinguish it at the last minute. This red and white church is the Church of Assumption. The walls and the north and south gate are great examples of the style Moscow Baroque. Novodevichy convent was obviously closed after the revolution and nuns only returned in 1994. Today it's more of a tourist attraction than a religious institution, but you will still probably see nuns walking around. It's a really peaceful retreat from the busier areas of Moscow such as the Kremlin and Old Arbit. Whilst at the convent, the cemetery next door shouldn't be missed. This is the capital's most prestigious cemetery and it's really interesting to see the lavish designs of the graves. Many famous Russians have been buried here, including Prokofiev the composer and Khrushchev the former Soviet leader. For more information on Moscow and Russian tours, please visit the Express to Russia website.